Circling around the world is a maze of roads carrying over a billion vehicles. Cars play a major role in our lives, and we've come to depend on them day in and day out. But how many of us give a second thought to what goes on under the bonnet when we start the engine? All that rubbing and that pressing can lead to a phenomenon called abrasion. What's abrasion? Well, I can show you abrasion. <laughs> Material has been worn away, the surface finish has been damaged, and we've created some debris. It's the same abrasive action that is the enemy of every car engine. In here, it's caused when the metal surfaces scrape past each other thousands of times every minute. Material is lost from these critical surfaces. And once that material is lost, then it's never coming back. You can never replace it. And the engine will never run quite as well again. And that whole process, that loss of material, is where? Engine wear is a serious problem. In fact, just how much wear occurs is staggering. In 12 hours alone, the amount of metal dust worn away from car engines in Europe could be equivalent to the weight of an entire car. So it's no surprise that on a global level, engine wear is one of the greatest motoring problems today. For almost 20 years, Castrol have been working on a solution. In the labs, scientists and engineers work side by side in the battle against abrasion. They've discovered there's a particular period of time when engine wear is at its worst, the warm-up period, the time it takes your oil to reach its optimum operating temperature. If you look at temperature versus time, by about 20 minutes, most engines have equilibrated at their designed oil operating temperature. If we then look at wear rates against the same time axis, it's interesting that right in the middle of the warm-up episode is the highest rate of wear. Why is the warm-up period so critical? Well, that becomes much clearer when you understand how the vast majority of us around the world drive our cars. In Moscow, traffic is very heavy. There are a lot of cars. Our driving to school is very congested. There's a lot of moms. We're all late. We're all going to get there in a hurry. Because of the congested roads and drivers constantly weaving in and out of traffic, I keep stopping and starting. What's worse, engine oil is slippery stuff. So the moment you switch your engine off, it drains, breaks its protective film, and leaves metal surfaces unprotected. But what if there was a component of engine oil which could stick to metal, coating it whatever the engine temperature, a component which could effectively defy gravity? What we've been doing at Castrol is working on very special kinds of molecules that cling very tenaciously to these vulnerable surfaces on the critical parts. And even when the oil film breaks down, even when there is metal-to-metal -metal contact, they get in the way. They protect those critical surfaces. This is the breakthrough. Castrol Magnatex Intelligent Molecules. Molecules which give oil the power to cling to critical parts, even when your engine is turned off. Ready to protect from the moment you turn the key. Even though oil is forced to drain down into the sump by the force of gravity, the Magnatex Intelligent Molecules cling so tenaciously that if you left them there 100 years, the molecules would still be there, ready to protect. Oil that clings 
is a bold claim. But it's one that's based on rigorous testing. These are engine cams. These parts suffer heavily from abrasion, and that's why they are the subject of a great deal of testing, with and without Castrol Magnatec. These are the two engine test parts. This one has run without the intelligent molecules, and this one is Magnatec. And what you can see is real evidence of, of scratches, of abrasive wear, lots of damage there. And it's just not evident in the Magnatec cam. You've actually got a much smoother area where Magnatec has protected the uh, components. And actually, you can even hear the difference. Much quieter on the Magnatec cam when I run my fingernail over the surface. But what about our drivers? Can they see the difference Castrol Magnatec makes? There's clearly a difference. This part is rough, and this part is smooth. Well, these two engine parts I've got, one is really smooth. It's, if I touch it, I can, it just, my finger just slips over it. The other one is really, um, well, it's ridges, and I can actually feel my finger jerking over it. Looking at the two cams, this one on the right feels very smooth, while the one on the left feels very rough. And when I use my fingernail to scrape them, I can hear the one on the left is basically worn down, while the one on the right seems brand new. I've got some abrasive here which I've coated with the actual intelligent molecules that are used in Magnatech. And if I take something perhaps people might recognize a smartphone, I can attempt to abrade the surface of the smartphone with the abrasive, but the intelligent molecules protect the phone and no abrasion has taken place. So the benefit of Castrol Magnatech is that it offers instant protection from the moment you turn the key. I think we're all very happy here that we've been able to work on technologies that bring these kind of advantages. It's very rewarding to look at the results that we generate here and realize that we've created a solution to the problem of abrasive wear, and that solution is available to drivers everywhere.